Right, this is the uh, terracotta air drying clay. And uh, we're going to open this one up again. These are all airtight packages. So if you're not going to use all the clay in one go, you must make sure that you reseal the packet or put it in another uh, container so that it doesn't dry out. I'm going to use about half of this pack and we're going to do a pinch pot. Now this is probably the simplest and maybe one of the first ways that man created pottery. So I'm going to have to knock this into a simple ball shape first. Like so. And we can then use the thumbs and you can see why it's called a pinch pot because we use a pinching motion to squeeze the clay into a simple form. Start at the bottom and work up towards the edges. If we've got a little bit of a seam like these here where we brought it together, we can smooth that in like so. Better to do that as you go along, otherwise that gap can get wider and wider. If you feel at any stage that the pot is getting uh, unstable or too soft, you can just leave the pot for a short while, let it stiffen off and then come back to it. It's probably not a good idea to get water onto the surface of the clay because it will just become incredibly messy, particularly if, uh, particularly if you are showing children how to do this. The sort of combination of clay and water is not necessarily a good one. As you can see, I'm working with the clay, there's virtually nothing coming off on the hands. You've just got to be patient and gradually work and every time you squeeze the pot grows a little bit some people professional potters still use this as their preferred method of making and uh, there have been some very famous and world renowned potters who use this technique and make very highly decorative ceramics this way. As you can see, this shape is self-supporting. If you wanted to make a sort of spherical or closed shape, you can make two of these and then put them together to make a closed form. Once you've got your basic shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the top edge. So we've got the uh, selection of modelling tools. I'm going to trim the top edge. Like 
so. And then I'm going to thin that edge down, just pinch the edge to create a finer, thinner leading edge. like so. Again, there's no need to waste this. This can be rolled up and put back with the remainder of the clay. You're going to leave it for any length of time, keep it sealed up. Now again, we've got the set of tools that are uh, can be purchased separately with the different patterns on each end. So I'm going to be using this one here and by pressing the clay into this we can produce a pattern to go around the top edge. And there we go. In just a few minutes, very simple bowl form. We would leave this to dry then overnight. And once it's completely dry, then we can paint the pot using the acrylics that come in the kit. You could paint the whole surface white and then start with detail on that. Or we could just highlight the colour, the natural colour of the terracotta body.